That's a big guy. He's going. Look at that. See you catch him on the beamer. Woo! A little bit off the ground there. Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another Moto Vlog. I'm here at Montgomery Power Sports here in uh, beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Just had to get my annual bike inspection because we do that here um, in uh, the great state of Hawaii and it's a pain in the ass. So <laughs> I actually had to get new uh, rear uh, turn signals back there, the blinkers themselves. The ones that came with my Fender Eliminator kit, uh, you know, actual bulbs themselves, they weren't big enough and Hawaii's got to be three inches. Mine were like two and three quarters. Come on guys, plus the safety check. That was another $160 down the drain. No, it's all good, I love riding. Look at that yellow R1 over there, that's pretty good. That's one of the new ones. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys Montgomery Power Sports, pretty good people. And if you're ever here in Hawaii, please check them out. They sell Suzuki's, uh, Husqvarna, the off-road bike, and Victory. You know, Victory's not out of uh, business yet. So uh, check them out, Montgomery Power Sports. So aloha Montgomery Power Sports. Uh, just going a little uh, motor vlog here, more downtown Honolulu, kind of the uh, western outskirts actually. I don't think I've ever been down here on a motor vlog, so uh, some new scenery for you guys. I've been following my channel for a while. So there's the uh, former Hilo Hate store of Hawaii warehouse. Um, they're like a supplier of Hawaiian doodads and trinkets and Hawaiian shirts and all that good stuff. Uh, there's still some stores here on the islands, but overall that warehouse is now empty as far as I know and they just keep it for more of a legacy thing I'm not sure why but yeah I've, I've bought a Hawaii shirt from there you know everybody does so Hilo Hate it's a free shout out for you right so going back to uh, yearly safety inspections here in Hawaii you have to get a yearly inspection on any vehicle like regular car truck SUV and motorcycles the crap part about motorcycles is that it's really strict here um, like I was saying earlier, I had to get new turn signals because the actual lamps, the lights themselves, weren't three inches across. If you haven't checked out my 18-month uh, review, my long-term review on my Honda CBR 1000 RR, uh, please check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. You know, it's a pretty lengthy video. I think it's like 24 minutes long, but I go into uh, in-depth stories on like what I've done to the bike and uh, what happened to the bike. So if you're intrigued on uh, <laughs> the damage that was done to the bike not by me um, and the way to recovery and what it looks like now brand new and beautiful with OEM fairings uh, please check it out I think y'all enjoy it like I said it's a long video but it's also filmed in 4k here in beautiful Hawaii so I think you guys will enjoy it so going back to the theme of this video um, safety checks the bane of our existence here in Hawaii for motorcycles any mods you make to the bikes they try to uh, you know basically counter it and make it illegal and all the uh, motorcycle shops here are pretty much, uh, they're, you know, pressured and uh, just they have to do the right thing and say you can't pass unless you spend all this money and get all these unmods done, ironically. Um, now, I will say exhaust, they're not really strict on, thank God. You know, I have the Taylor made exhaust here. There you guys go if you haven't seen it. Um, you know, exhaust, they're, they're pretty lenient on it, but I will say the biggest thing I've seen is turn signals. Hence, what well, I had to get new ones today. So, uh, with the whole turn signals thing, you know, three inches on the front and three inches on the rear were basically those big, ugly, nasty stock ones that come with every bike. So, if you have an integrated tail light, which I'll get into in a, uh, you know, in a bit on my Honda CBR 1000 RR, another story, um, you're pretty much screwed. Unless you uh, have the like regular stock fender, that nasty fender that goes, you know, on the back with all the reflectors and all that good stuff on it, um, you're pretty much screwed and you gotta spend all this money or you change it out yourself. Um, now I will say when I bought this uh, BMW, um, I actually installed the fender eliminator kit as I bought it uh, and I don't have the uh, stock fender with all the reflectors and lights and all that bullshit on there. so. They told me this morning, and I knew it was coming eventually. I mean, I've had the bike a year, and the guy had just got it, you know, safety checked right before I bought it last year, um, and he had the stock fender on there. So I knew it was coming up. It was just, I was hoping that the, uh, the uh, turn signals that came with the uh, fender eliminator kit were good enough. Uh, they weren't. Hey, what's what we got here? It's a big guy. He's going, look at that. See you catch him on the Beamer. Woo! A little bit off the ground there. 
So there we go. He's going to Cycle City. That is the uh, Harley Davidson place here in Hawaii. That's where I take my uh, soft tail slim. Um, it's it's a pretty good store. I mean, it's your only choice. <laughs> That's it for Hawaii. Now, granted, you can go where I went, Montgomery Power Sports. They'll do any you know uh, bikes. I like the way it sounds down here. Got to rev it up in front of Harley. Woo! All right. Look how many red lights there are, guys. It's like you move five feet and you're hitting another red light. But this is uh, Nimitz Highway, Highway 92, as it's called, the Nimitz. Um, above me, actually, is the H1. It goes over the top. The reason this is nice is uh, you got shade during the daytime when that sun is beating down. Now, granted, you're going slow, but since I'm gonna stop by South Sea Cycles anyway, which is the uh, BMW Honda dealer. But anyway, uh, South Sea Cycles is where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see if they got the new BMWs in stock. Again, mine's a 2014, which I'm on right now, but you know, I've been looking at the 17s. I don't like the paint jobs though, so I'm not gonna upgrade is what I finally decided. I'm hoping the 2018s look decent. Uh, we'll see. So right to the left here, boom. There's South Sea Cycles, they also have Ducati. So I'm going to go in there and check it out, and uh, we'll get back to the motor vlog in a bit. All right, everyone, we're back here at uh, South Seas Motorcycles here in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, so they don't sell BMWs anymore here or Ducatis. They have a new uh, store downtown called Velocity Motorcycles. I have to check that out. There's my baby right there, BMW S1000R with that TaylorMade exhaust. All right, so I just went in there. Um, you know, they have a uh, 2017 CBR1000RR, the new one, in black. They also had the red one, but that black one, I'll tell you what, guys. It makes me want to almost trade in that blue and yellow baby I have. <laughs> it's bad. But uh, more, to, more to see on that. I talked to the sales manager. He's going to give me a ring, see what they can give me for the Honda. Probably nothing on trading. I'll probably be better off selling it or keeping it. Uh, I don't know. I already have too many bikes. You guys know that. I got this bike. My Honda CBR 1000 R and my Harley Softail Slim. Check out this uh, this nice little uh, bike here. Sold. It's a badass Harley. I believe it's, uh, it's a breakout. Man, that's that's actually really nice. Anyway, I got my Softail Slim. Breakouts are cool though. If I didn't have a Softail Slim, I'd have a breakout. That one's customized, of course. It's got the Screaming Eagle air intake, all that good stuff on it. But anyway, that's uh, South Sea Cycles, guys. Just wanted to show you before I get on the road again. And uh, now I'm thinking about that, you know, 2017 Honda Fireblade. We'll see. More to follow. All right, everyone. We're back on the road here. Hope you enjoyed that quick, like, 30-second tour of South Seas Motorcycles. Like I said, there's not much to see anymore because they've gotten rid of the Ducatis and BMWs. I'll have to go down to Velocity uh, Motorcycles downtown where they now sell them and show you guys one day. Uh, but back to the uh, safety, the Bane Safety Inspection of Hawaii for motorcycles. So, thing is, um, this guy, like I said, needed new turn signals. No big deal. Everything else is pretty good because I still have the stock turn signals on the front down there. You know, I'm, I, I did get LED skinny triangle one, and they don't look too bad. So, you know, overall, I'm happy because um, once you get rid of that nasty fender, and you get put the fender and lemon kit on there, you know, all those things happen. You got to plan for Hawaii safety inspection. So let me know below if your states, wherever you ride or your country requires um, safety inspections on motorcycles and how strict are they? Um, now I will say my Honda CBR 1000 R, that's going to be a problem. Uh, there's a place I go to, um, you know, I'll keep the name out of this, but they're on vacation right now. They do motorcycle inspections, but they're a little more lenient, if you know what I mean. So, uh, I'm waiting for them to open. The problem is the safety on that one uh, is about to expire, so I'm not going to be able to ride the Honda until I get that done. Nice little uh, street glide there. Look at this. We went from one green light to another red light. Awesome, right? Um, anyway, the Honda, as y'all know, it has a fender eliminator kit um, and it has an undertail exhaust. So the license plate is tucked under the seat because that's the only place I can mount it unless I buy a giant mounting bracket that goes underneath the exhaust. And I have the integrated, uh, you know, tail light, which has the left and right signals built into it. So, uh, you know, that's kind of a problem. I don't have anywhere to mount turn signals even if I wanted. So hopefully the... Uh, the place and garage I go to for that safety inspection on the Honda, which I got last year, you know, he'll be back soon and 
until then you guys won't see it i mean that's you can blame hawaii's uh strict uh safety inspection laws on that guys so um you know i just kind of wanted to go uh into the the dreadfulness that every motorcycle rider here has on in hawaii about the safety inspection which i think is crap because in any other i wouldn't say any other state but most states in america i would have been legal on my setup for this bmw s1000rr i mean my lights were literally a quarter inch too short i mean you're kidding me right so there goes 100 another 160 dollars but it's all for the good so i can ride my hobby enjoy riding bikes here on the beautiful island of oahu hawaii and so with that guys that's all i pretty much have for this video I just wanted to kind of go into, you know, what it's like to get a safety inspection here on motorcycles. Let me know your thoughts on, you know, your states, your countries, and if it's required and if it's a pain in the butt like it is in Hawaii. Other than that, y'all take care. If you like this video, please give a big old thumbs up. Um, you know, the support on this channel is growing. Uh, leave a comment below and check out my other videos and playlists, guys. I think there's something y'all enjoy. I have three motorcycles if, you know, it's the first time seeing my channel. The BMW S1000RR, which I call Black Beauty. You got the Honda CBR 1000 Double R, which I call Wolverine in the blue and yellow color scheme. And then you have my Harley Softail Slim, Big Boss. So other than that, y'all take care. Until next time, aloha.